Well, welcome everyone. Jason Hoppy here to talk to you about point type and paragraph type in Adobe Illustrator. This is something that comes up quite a lot and people get kind of perplexed on why they have two different types of typesetting here in Illustrator. Now, point type is really quite interesting. Point type is where you simply take your cursor, your type tool, and you click on a point and you type. And what happens with this is that you can type forever and ever and ever, and it will simply go on and on and on off the edge of your screen forever and ever and ever. Now, one of the things with point type that we use this for is for like labeling maps, short little captions, maybe doing an infographic where you don't want to draw an actual container to put your text in. Now, I can take my type tool and I can draw an existing container that's going to fill with some placeholder text. And so why would you use one over the other? Well, really, this is what it comes down to. Short little pieces. You can simply take your type tool and click and type. Now, when I want to do paragraph type, then I'm going to use my type tool to draw a container and then put my text in. Now, what's the actual difference between the two? When we look at this and I click on point type, it looks like it has a bounding box with pull handles like you're very used to seeing when you draw a rectangle or a shape. And then it's got this little handle outside here, which is what I call a lollipop. And when you hover over this little lollipop, you'll notice that you get this cursor and this arrow and this box. And it's like, okay, what does that actually mean? Well, let's go take a look at paragraph type. When you click on the paragraph type container, you actually get a container. And the container looks pretty much the same, but the lollipop off to the side here now shows you that it's solid. And when you hover over this, you'll notice that it then gives you the arrow saying, oh, this is now going to become point type. Okay. And then you also get this little window shade or pull handle at the bottom of your paragraph type. So let's click on our point type and let's talk about what you can and can't do with this. If I click on my point type with my selection tool and I change the size of it, you'll notice that I can also stretch it or scrunch it, which is not something that you want to do with your little crispity crunchy bits of tasty nuggets. So when we have something like this, we can scale it, but I'd have to hold down my shift key to make it larger and smaller and keep it constrained. If I want to break the type into multiple lines, I can go and just double click and activate my type tool, and then I would have to hit return in order to get all of my lines to break. Go back to my selection tool, and it still looks like there's a bounding box around it, and technically there isn't. It's just kind of the place where you can grab. I can also hover over the outside corners, and I can rotate this as well, and I could do the same thing in my transform panel, and I could just simply go in and rotate this however I want. Now, the one drawback with this is if you do want to break this into multiple lines, you have to do it all manually. Paragraph type is different. Paragraph type, the bounding box, does not change the size of your type. When you click on the bounding box and you resize it, it's simply going to resize the container, which is going to allow you to flow your text wherever the container goes. Now, you'll notice that we have a much larger container here and we have this big space, and this is something that I run into quite often. People will set paragraph type, and they'll leave this big open space. And well, it's kind of like having your shoelaces untied. You know, you're going to trip over this here. So you can manually go in and shore that up, but don't do it too far, because if you do it too far, you'll see that red plus right here showing you that you have overset text. Doing it manually, it's fine, but you know what? They have this little feature here so that you don't have to do it manually. This is your little window shade. And if you click on that handle and double click, it's going to window shade your container up to your text. Or in this case, if you have closed up your container too far and you have the little red plus which shows text overflow, you can double click and it's going to open your container up. Now that's not something that we can do with point type, but it is something that we can do with paragraph type. Now here's one interesting thing about paragraph type that point type works just fine. If I select my container and I try to rotate this by hovering over the outside edge here, you'll notice when I rotate it, it doesn't rotate the type. It just rotates the container. Now, this has always baffled me, but 
curiously enough, if I go into my transform panel and I rotate it, I can rotate it that way, but I can't rotate it manually. Hmm. So, how do you transform point type into paragraph type and vice versa? Well, you can do it in two different ways. If you select your point type and you hover over that little lollipop, it's showing you that arrow pointing to the right, it says it's going to convert it into text inside a container. You do that, sure enough, you get the dark little lollipop handle and you get your window shade. Now, when I open this up, you'll notice that it doesn't ray flow. And the reason why is because I manually put in paragraph returns in here to break the point type, and it's going to remember those paragraph returns. If you don't remember that you put those paragraph returns in here, you can go under the type menu, and you can show your hidden characters, and you can see that there's actual paragraphs, paragraph returns in here. You will have to get rid of those in order to have the type reflow the way you want to. Click outside of it. So I'm going to get rid of that paragraph return. And now this is paragraph type, and now you can see it will reflow. So double clicking on that lollipop converts point type to paragraph type, and then also back to paragraph type. You can do it under the type menu as well. If you have paragraph type, you'll notice it says convert to point type. And once you do, it does that. Point type no longer has a handle and no longer has that dark lollipop. Here, this is going to be paragraph type. Double click on that blue lollipop, turns it into point type as well. And of course, you can always go back to your type menu and say convert to area type, or again, double click on that handle. Now, once you convert to point type and then back to area type, you'll notice that it's automatically gone in here and put a soft return in here all by itself. So that's kind of an interesting thing as well. It's not a hard return, it's but a soft return. And if you don't know what a soft return is, it's actually shift return that allows you to break the line without having to apply any of your paragraph formatting. So if you did put any paragraph formatting in here, like space before, space after, a soft return simply ignores that space before and space after, and that's what it does for you couple other tricks with type while we're in here, just to make it that much better. Going in and changing the size of your type. If you'd like to change the size very quickly via the keyboard, sure, you can always use your character or your paragraph panel, but here's a couple little tricks for you. Shift Command or Shift Control, and then period or comma. And you'll also notice on your period and your comma keys, you have greater than or less than. So Shift Command, greater than or less than, will increase and decrease the size of your type. Fantastic. Going in and adjusting the space in between letters, which is kerning. Kerning can be done with Option or Alt, and then Option or Alt left arrow is going to kern things tighter. Option or Alt right arrow is going to kern things looser. And one last thing, if you would like to kern your entire line of copy, which is called tracking, it's going to be the same shortcut. Select all your type, hold down your Option key. Option or Alt, left arrow is going to track everything tighter. Option or Alt, right arrow is going to track everything looser. And there you have it, folks. A quick little venture down the fun road of paragraph type and point type, what it is, how to convert them, and what you're going to run into when you can convert one from the other.